I'm Big Will Evanson, and it's time to talk sports. It was another big night in the Grand Valley. Three sports, volleyball, softball, and soccer, all in one night. And we had a huge matchup on the volleyball court as the Palisade Bulldogs made the trip west to Fruita Monument High School, where it was a packed house to watch the top two teams in the Southwestern League standings. And Palisade is on top and set one when Addie Ritterbush smashes it down to increase the lead. That's a future senior Maverick right there. So it's set point for the Bulldogs, and the Palisade students are loving it, but Fruita will not go away. It's an ace for Kaylee Kluzek, and the Fruita students are back, and it is the Wildcats all within two, but folks, Addie Ritterbush is just too good up front. With authority, she wins set one for the Bulldogs as Palisade aims to stay unbeaten in league play. And the Bulldogs did do just that as they get the massive sweep over their league rival and stay alone atop the Southwestern League standings at a perfect 4-0 and in the league. But boy, all three of those sets, they were close. Both of these teams seem poised to make some noise come playoff time. But let's take you to Colorado Mesa's softball field where it was a beautiful night for softballs. Palisade battled Grand Junction and how about some pitching? Mackenzie Gray forces a swing and a miss as the dogs take a one nothing lead to inning two. But now here come the Tigers. Alyssa Laramore smacks straight through center for a big base hit. As coming home is Alexis Walpole to tie us up and safe at third is Beta Irwin. An RBI double for Laramar. And this one was tight until the final pitch, but it is the Palisade Bulldogs who get it done late, squeaking past their rival Grand Junction with two huge runs in the seventh as both teams get to 500 in league play. But let's take you across campus to Unity Field. It was a pair of teams still looking for their first win of the season. It's the Fruit of Wildcats at 0-4 and, and again, the Palisade Bulldogs at 0-5. Who would get their first win on the night? Well, it's the Dogs on the attack. One save made, and how about full extension with the legs? An unreal save from Ryder Trimble for Fruta, but on the ensuing quarter kick for Palisade into the box, and uh-oh, right off the noggin of a Wildcat. That is an own goal and a big one as Palisade takes the early one nothing lead. Just minutes later, the dogs are at it again. Cy Hobbs with the cross. One save by Trimble, but the Wildcats can't clear as Jaden Ford has the finish as just like that. Palisade leads it two to nothing. And the Bulldogs would tack on one more goal in the second half as they get their first win on this season and keep their rival winless in the process. And boy, have a night. Palisade Athletics, three games, three sports, Three wins for the Bulldogs all over league rivals. And a college soccer, Colorado Mesa was in action in both men's and women's soccer. And it was a big day for the Mesa men as they got a dominant 3 nothing win over MSU Billings in Durango. And the 14th ranked CMU women held on tight on the road in Texas as they earn a draw to get to 2-0-2. Two, oh, two. Boy, a big night of sports in the Valley in the action. Folks, it doesn't stop there as we've got a big Friday night frenzy on the way. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Evanson.